It's such good news that um, we now have a support system in place for us to, to really realize that we are naturally perfect just as we are. Not like an idea or philosophy or a nice saying that we can relate to and feel happy about for a moment. No, that we really have a support system in place for, for me and you and humanity to really realize that we have always been perfect. And that all the avoidance of our experiences, all the indulgence, all the replacement was never ever necessary. It was just something we believed was necessary to survive in the world and be in the world and act in the world, but it was never ever necessary. So it takes some time to get used to that, to relax all those strategies we used to, to have to, to just get on by, to be able to relate and be in the world we thought we had to do all this. So it's such a relief and a release really to just again and again come back to this simple instruction for short moments where you just relax all these ideas again and again and again. And that's when we really see that we are more than the thoughts we are thinking right now. We are more than the emotions we are feeling right now. We are more than the physical sensations we are experiencing right now. There's so much information streaming through our minds, streaming through our bodies. All this information that we can call simply points of view or data, all this stuff. <laughs> unpredictable stuff that's just there all the time that we have used our whole life to try to control, change, manipulate, analyze, make sense of. Now we come to see that we actually don't want to waste our energy to make sense of it anymore because we see we can simply relax with it all. Again and again and again. Right now just to see how powerful you are when you do that. You check it directly in your own experience for short moments. If you will remember just one thing for th from this talk today, it would be that. To go about your life and test short moments where you just relax. That's all it takes. You don't need to push away anything of what you're experiencing. Just let it be as it is. Because the words I'm saying right now, you will maybe, you know, remember, you know, few of them. But just what really matters is your own experience, where you really see that this is the truth for yourself. Then you see that you are more than all this data that there is something fundamental about being human that has always been there, but we have been trained to ignore it because we have emphasized the data instead of really, really tapping into that fundamental nature, the natural state of a human being, that we can call open intelligence because it is an intelligence which is beyond the mind or, you know, whatever idea you have about intelligence. It's an intelligence that doesn't stop with your body or your perception. It's an innate and instinctive wisdom about being you, about being human. That's what you tap into in short moments. It's a clarity, clear seeing, that basic ability to just perceive. Perceiving you are sitting in the chair right now, listening to me right now, just that basic ability to perceive. If you don't add your strategies to that, <coughs> that basic perception is so clear, free of all the habits of categorizing into negative, positive, neutral. It's free. <coughs> And in short moments you see that you can meet any experience in your life being free, clear, open.
So we never have to be alone in this, you know. It's, we learn by example. That's what we did in school from our parents. That's just how we learn as human beings. We learn by looking at each other. So why doing this alone? To be together in the community has been one of my most powerful support and it still is and it will be as long as I exist and beyond. I would never go back to try to figure out who I am alone. It's not needed. So you really come to see in your own experience when you take these short moments that actually you always only had one decision to make in every moment, only one choice. Because we are really simple if we are open enough to recognize that within ourselves. We are very simple as human beings. So that simple choice you have is that whatever you are experiencing right now, you can either go with all the descriptions of what you're experiencing, analyzing it, comparing yourself to others, trying to figure it out, you know, going into all the dramas, feeling sorry for ourselves, you know, all this stuff, all this self centered stuff, all this reflect reflecting everything back to ourselves and going off on one story after the other. Or, just let it be. Not judging yourself, taking a short moment with all self-judgment, self-blame, just let it be. It's possible. In every moment, just back to that simple choice. If you are in the street and you see a dying dog or you see cruelty in the, wo in the, in the world, you see it on TV, you know, we don't need to avoid it. And we can really stand tall and face it all and see it for what it truly is. <coughs> and there's no way that we can, with reified intelligence, describe how world peace will come about. But it's so obvious in your own experience and we know that we are all related as humans. So I see it's just happening faster and faster now that people recognize this. I see it in my neighbor home, he recognized this. I don't need to, to talk about open intelligence. You know, just being together, relaxing with all my stories about life, about myself, about everyone, has such an impact everywhere I go and everywhere where all of you go. It doesn't have to look a certain way, like in a certain setting here in Goa. We are training up here. But then we are these pioneers that show this to the world. So we can also relax with all the stories about how we are going to go, go about making world peace, because it's happening right now. And we are just so lucky to be part of it. And we are part of it by again and again rooting everything back to our own experience, where we take that responsibility, where we make that simple choice, where we tap into that fundamental nature, that intelligence. And you can compare it to, you know, when you look in the mirror as a child, and when you look in the mirror, when you are eight years old, there might be some physical appearances that has changed. But the ability to look, to see yourself in the mirror, never changed. And that's the same with your fundamental nature, your natural state as a human being. It has never changed and it will never change. It's just up to each one of us to tap into it. And that is all that's going on here. You are supported to any length you want in, the, in a way that 
that's adaptable to your situation, your life circumstance. You can be supported to remember this simple choice again and again, spontaneously, more and more instinctively you see it. Dong. It's there. You don't forget it. So that's all that the Four Mainstays and the support system is for, is for you to feel that empowerment to make the decision. So the commitment is that, to make that decision. It's not the commitment to other, nothing else than really grounding yourself in that that decision. And it truly works. It totally changed my life. All this data, all these thoughts and belief systems and habits I've had in my whole life, it's not gone anywhere. And I see it very clearly. But inseparable from that, I feel such compassion for myself and such gratitude for, for my life and that I can feel all this and think all this. But I don't need to be disturbed by it. So this is something that is a gradual experience for all of us. And I know many of you are experiencing this more and more in your life. So it's not something like a magic drink you take and short moments and bong, you know. It's a gradual recognition. It dawns on you. And then, then you simply don't want to go back to to the dramas of your life and being stuck in descriptions and analyses and comparing yourself to others. You know, you just want to be free and open then. So then you prioritize the mainstays again and again because you see that I need to train this up. You recognize that within yourself. That's the openness. So be practical about the mainstays. You know, as you would <coughs> if you applied for a program at the university, you would find out where is the course, when is it, you would show up to it, you would read your, your, the books, you would do your homework, you know, all of that. It's common sense. So if you really want to train up this quality to recognize it more and more, it's just to be very, very practical about how you use the mainstays <coughs> and ask other people how they're using it. 